Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. One of the most common questions I get is how do you create those tiny photos for your memory keeping and travel journals? So today, I'm going to walk you through my process of making and printing these little gems that add such a personal touch to my journaling spreads. Let's dive right in. The first thing I do is select the photos I want to use. I usually go for a mix of landscapes, landmarks, food shots, and personal moments. The key is to choose images that capture the memories you want to keep alive in your journal. I store all my photos in Google Photos, which makes them easily accessible from anywhere. As you can see here, I'm picking out photos for my Taiwan travel journal. Once I've made my selections, I move them into a dedicated folder named Taiwan Travel Journal. This helps me stay organized and makes it easy to download the folder to my computer later when I'm ready to create the photo collage. Having my favorites in one folder keeps everything organized and makes the next steps like resizing and printing so much easier. Next, I resize the photos using a collage app. You can use any editing software, but my go-tos are PhotoR, Photo Editor, when working on my computer, and the Maldiv app for mobile. If you're using a MacBook, you can download PhotoR, Photo Editor from the App Store. I'm not entirely sure though if it is available on Windows, but it's worth checking. For mobile, I use the Maldive app, which you can download from the Play Store if you're on Android like I am. I'll show you how to create collages using Maldive later in this video. By the way, I only use the free version of both apps and they work perfectly fine for my needs. For memory keeping and travel journals, I love working with small photos that can be printed on a 4x6 or 6x4 size photo paper. A quick tip, creating a collage layout or placing multiple photos on one page is a great way to save paper when printing. Now let me show you how easy it is. Here's how I do it using the Photo R photo editor on my computer. First, I select the 6 by 4 ratio. Then choose a grid layout. For this example, let's pick a 4 grid layout. Next, I drag and drop my photos into the grid. Then save the collage to my computer. This is what it looks like. This layout is ideal for landscape-oriented photos. When you use four grids, each photo will be approximately 2 by 3 inches in size. Now let me show you how it looks when you use the 4 by 6 ratio. Drag the photos in and save the collage. Here's the result. Now let's create even smaller photos, the kind you often see in my memory keeping journal pages. These photos are about 1.4 by 2 inches in size. To create these, let's use Maldive app on my phone. Here's how to do it. First, open Moldiv and select Collage. Choose the 9 grid frame and adjust the ratio to 2 by 3 which corresponds to the 4 by 6 print size. Select your 9 photos.
Safe and you're done. If you prefer slightly larger photos, you can choose the 8 grid frame with the same 2 by 3 ratio and select 8 photos instead. Both methods work great depending on the size you want for your journal. Now you have a range of photo sizes to fit different layouts and spreads. Now that we've resized our photos, it's time to print. If you have a photo printer like a Canon selfie or even a regular home printer that supports photo paper, you can easily print 4x6 photos at home. It's super convenient to print on demand. But don't worry, if you don't own a photo printer, there are other often cheaper options available. For instance, I don't currently have a photo printer so I send the soft copies of my files to an online photo printing service and they deliver the prints straight to my home. Another option I use is having them printed at photo printing shops in malls here in the Philippines. They use matte photo paper and I'm really happy with the quality. For me, this is the most affordable option compared to owning and maintaining a photo printer. I used to have a Canon selfie which printed 4x6 photos but after 5 years it broke down. Since then, I've switched to these external printing services. While I can't print instantly, I usually batch my printing and do it like once a month. Here's a tip if you're in a similar situation. Use cardboard templates or cardstock templates cut to the same size as your photos. So when I want to journal but don't have any printed photos yet, I trace the templates onto my journal pages with a pencil to mark where the photo will go. This way, I can write around the space and just paste the printed photos in when they arrive. It's a simple trick to keep my journaling going without delays. And that's how I create tiny photos for my memory keeping and travel journals. It's a question I get asked a lot and I hope this step-by-step -step guide helped you. Now, I would love to know, have you ever tried printing photos for your journals? If so, what kind of printer do you use? Share your answers in the comments below. Also, if you're looking for more inspiration, be sure to check out my travel journal and memory keeping playlist for more creative ideas and tips. And don't forget to subscribe for more inspiration. Until next time, happy journaling! Bye!